Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, the bipartisan dialogue has been officially suspended by the Azimio of Modia after realizing that the team from the Kenya Panda side are not serious on the issue of this dialogue. They are documented, they had already signed, but then their counterpart were still delaying to sign the letters and they were yet even to forward those same letters to the Department of the Independent Electoral Ballot Commission, uh, one letter addressing the CEO and another one addressing the chairman of the IABC. So, in all this game, one thing has been realized that the other side is only playing the tactic game of uh, delay, buy time, then strategize. So after Azimio realizing this, they said now we better officially write and suspend this talk. Again, beside this, there are other forces that is pushing Raila Odinga to call off this bipartisan dialogue. And this is what Otiende Amolo uh, wrote. Let's go through it. Eh? The joint, bi joint bipartisan talk, stock dialogue committee. Uh, Otiende Amolo and uh, George Gitonga Murungaro. So that's addressing Honorable George Gitonga Murungaro, MP member and co-chair, joined by partisan talk, stock dialogue committee, P.A. Box there, Nairobi. Dear Honorable Murungaro, is urgent. Reason, position of the bipartisan dialogue. Kindly refer to the above matter and uh, our letter dated 30th May 2023. We notice that you are yet to co sign the sub submit, co sign and submit to us letters addressed to the chief executive officer, the independent electoral ballot commission, IBC, and the one addressed to the chairperson of the IBC selected panel. Further, we also notice that you have not responded to the additional matter raised in the resolution of the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Parliamentary Group meeting forwarded to you. In the circumstance, it is our considered opinion that the appropriate action is to adjourn the toxin die in accordance with clause 6 of the framework agreement which we hereby invoke. We thank you, Honorable Co-Chairperson, and assure you of our highest regard. You are sincere, since it's there, Honorable Otienda Mono, member of the chair, joint bipartisan talk, as well as Moja One Kenya Coalition Principal Member of the Joint Bipartisan Talk to Dialogue Committee. So that is an official writing to the Kenya Panda side to confirm the suspension of uh, this talk by the Azimio side. So the questions are not why, what next? Those are the questions Kenyans are asking. And we continue with this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To all channels, brothers and sisters, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, the truth of the matter is that even before suspending this uh, bipartisan talk, Raila was meeting with the groups of the youth and the elders across the country, but largely within Nairobi. And if you listen to the voices, they are speaking one thing. That there is no need to continue this bipartisan dialogue because Kenyans are not fools. They are seeing exactly what the Ruto side are trying to do. They see all those tactic delays that have been always played. So it means public is showing that there is no any truth from William Ruto side. They have lacked trust in any of this dialogue. It means the perception is that there is nothing that will work in the interest of the people. So Kilimanjaro and Mira Elodinga suspend that talk. I shall not hear a member of my person talk. Look for another avenue to sort out this problem. 
Watu wanaambia raia wote unachelewa turudisha maandamano. It is that with the bunge la wananchi and now all Kenyans are saying suspend imambo ya kuongea it is not making sense and there are so many reasons why they are saying so and Azimio could also see the same if you look on the issues that Azimio Lomwade was raising cost of living was number one on the list opening server was number two consulting of the new IBC was number three then the issue of interfering with the political parties was number four in all this matter look on the issue of high cost of living how is Ruto handling this matter their own 2023 uh, financial budget is telling everything Ruto is showing no interest to deal with the issue of high cost of living instead their bill is showing the appetite Kenya Panther has to increase the cost of living by 16 percent you see they are moving from 8 now to 16 it means they are doubling whatever you are seeing today in terms of uh, uh, taxes it is going to increase times two so expect that mafuta imepanda vile raila mwenyewe amesema na shilingi 10 kwa lita that is going to be reflected in terms of transportation of goods and services from one place to another and that one it will again push those people who are in business to increase the price of commodities so the end consumer is going to carry the burden so ruto ameonyesha ya kwamba hana mpango yoyote to sort out the issue of cost of living instead he want to increase so it means he's not listening to bipartisan talk he did not even consider in his budget what is going on in the bipartisan talk and that was number one so because of this people are telling Raila Odinga you are wasting your time here Rudy Commander man because Ruto has decided to play politics you should also play politics that's the only way to sort out this otherwise if you are trying to apply diplomatic language when Ruto is applying political language how? It never work. So Raila has to stop the diplomatic language and the play politics as a politician to force William Ruto to do the, to do the right thing. Mama ya unga waliambia watu tarudi chini paka saizi haile rudi. You come to the issue of political parties. Is there any respect Kenya Kwanda is showing to what the any political party? The answer is no. Look on the game they are playing with the Jubilee Party. The registrar political party has been turned into a political tool working for Kenya Kwanza to frustrate the other political parties. Instead of Ruto stopping all the infight in Jubilee Party, he's igniting fire. And I to Sabina Cheke, my 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 colleague, political party, party leader, my colleague party leader. So he's embracing impunity within political parties. So the only remaining thing is just Raila to call back mass action. And Raila is saying Tukuna, public order is coming, but after that, Mandamano should come somewhere at least on Monday. Just call people back to the street. If you look on the people's reaction, they are off. We better go back to the street. Tumeona vile Ruto amefanya yeye ameamua tu atajeza huko juu hana mpango wa kushuka. So the only way to tell the kayo shuka chini ni kurudi kwa maandamano. Ruto is playing delay tactics. He think that people are going to have a maze. Sababu tumeona sasa hizi watu maindi nafanya vizuri, endelea kuna wili, anafikiria wakati watu watavuna maindi bei itashuka chini. Ikisha shuka chini he will be sold at the issue of high cost of living. Then at the back, he is again at the politics and he will maneuver and play politics as usual. I think even it will not happen because the cost of planting, tilling and harvesting your mind is very high. So every farmer would want to sell the maize with the idea that they have to recover the input and then earn profit so that in the next plantation season or planting season, they will let have a way to do it. 
So hata yeye itashuka chini. Mimi tunaongea saa hizi. Saa hizi nimeambiwa in the village one sack of 90 kg uh, bag of maize is going for 7000 plus. Last month I bought one at 6000. Today it is 7. We don't know what will happen. So look at that. Things are becoming unaffordable and it will continue like that. Mafuta imepanda bei na kila kitu. So the only way is mass action. This mass action. Raila alikuwa ameamua ileta in the manner uh, to cause something like secession. But seemingly wanuya wanalia, wajaleo wanalia, uh, wajaleo wakikuyu wanalia, wa, uh, kalejini wanalia. Is across the country. You go to constitution what on alia you go to command what on alia so it is like everyone is crying so the only thing is that i have listened to the cry of the entire country and call for mass action i don't know your views but just me is the government is going for 